Hello, welcome to the Thursday, June 8, 2017 edition of the Sands and Storm Center's Stormcast. My name is Johannes Ulrich, and today I'm recording from Washington, D.C. You probably have run into these deceptive advertisements that claim that you're missing a specific plugin for a particular website or that, for example, your Flash player is out of date. Now, many of these advertisements then either lead to these tech support scams or just downloads that in addition to the valid Flash player or whatever, also download a number of adware payloads, for example, toolbars for your browser that will inject ads into your web sessions. Now, I looked into this a little bit deeper after a reader pointed out via Twitter that he came across these advertisements on a typo squatting page that did catch YouTube users. Turned out that the advertisements on this page came from a company called Revenue Hits. Revenue Hits is an advertisement network and as a publisher, if you own a website, you can place their ads on your site. So I signed up with Revenue Hits and sure enough, up to this point, all I got were these same deceptive ads, uh, tech support scams and the like. In one case even, they injected a fake login form into my test site. On the other hand, the actual revenue side of this doesn't look all that unattractive. Now, I did very limited testing with this. I was the only user of the particular site. They counted one click through and they were going to pay me for that 36 cents, which isn't bad compared to more legitimate options like Google AdSense. Of course, on the other hand, advertisements like this are probably the strongest reason why you probably should run some form of ad blocker and ad blockers typically do a pretty good job job in suppressing these suggestive ads. And it's always amazing to see how more advanced software comes up with new ways to do somewhat covert command control channels. The latest one that we live security reports about is the use of an Instagram account. In this particular case, the malware periodically checked a Britney Spears Instagram account and uh, did read through the comments left behind. Now, it turns out that some of the comments that were left behind for this Instagram account actually did decode into URLs that were then used by the malware to download additional components. Components. Now, when you read the comment, it actually reads like a fairly normal comment, lots of abbreviations and such, but certainly plausible. And all comments that matched a certain hash then were decoded using a regular expression into this bit.ly URL. So the only thing the malware had to extract were these seven characters that make up the identifier for the bit.ly URL. And of course, it's pretty easy to essentially hide seven arbitrary characters in an Instagram comment. So pretty new way to actually run a command and control channel. On the other hand, the way you would detect something like this is probably not via the Instagram access, but then the next URL that's being accessed after the user goes to Bitly, it usually refers to a compromised website and uh, would be like a new new URL, a new domain name that someone is looking up that you probably haven't seen before in your logs. Now, this was more targeted uh, malware and like many targeted malware samples, it was initially installed via a waterhole attack. When I uh, sort of skipped through the list of domains that uh, housed this particular malware, it was uh, somewhat heavy on embassy uh, names. So embassy websites apparently that got compromised in order 
to place this particular malware. And RSA Security published an interesting blog post about some of the subdomain tricks used in a recent uh, RIC exploit kit event. Now, this was published after a couple of different companies and researchers uh, did help shut down about 40,000 different subdomains that were set up in order to distribute uh, this exploit kit. But uh, what really RSA sort of comes down to in its uh, blog post that most of these subdomains were hosted with GoDaddy using stolen credentials. Very important that you secure your domain registrar account. GoDaddy most other uh, registrars also offers two-factor authentication. Phishing has been used a lot in the past in order to compromise uh, these accounts. Now, uh, with domain shadowing, they actually do not change your actual main website or any of uh, the records that you rely on. Instead, they add new records uh, to your domain that are then used for phishing attacks, essentially abusing the good reputation of your domain name. Well, and that's it for today. So thanks again for listening and talk to you again tomorrow. Bye.